Styles obviously would have done review of, uh, of the King's Clash now, mate, a few days separated. We haven't really heard from you. What did you think of that performance now you've gone done the review? Well, for, you know, obviously happy to get the win. That was the uh, priority for that game, just to, to get in there after, you know, six consecutive losses. Uh, the boys have been training hard, but, uh, you know, without, without any reward. And the most important thing was we fronted up to Suncorp, uh, played well in front of our fans, and, and I thought in particular the second half uh, there was some really exciting uh, aspects of our game. Consistent theme this year's been talking about how you guys haven't been able to play the full eight. Mm. Um, in the last couple of weeks, talked about how you guys have been gassed late. Do you think this fire from our leading to the Tars is really going to get you there to, to play that full eight? Oh, listen, there's, uh, you know, there's the, the physical aspect, definitely. Uh, you know, playing eight games straight, I think only the Blues and, and ourselves did that. Uh, on top of all the travel, was definitely physically draining. Uh, but I also think too, you know, you've got to look at, it. We, we have played, you know, we haven't got the full 80 minutes out this year, you know, we've played good in patches through through games and you're not always going to have it your own way, but just that consistency of performance is something we're definitely chasing. Is the task clash something that you'll sort of look to draw a bit of, uh, bring some old players or anything like that to try and pick up a bit of extra motivation or is that... Is it just treating it like a normal game? No, there's nothing normal in, in my eyes about playing the Waratahs. Um, you know, definitely, I think, you know, the, the landscape's changed from the early days where there weren't a lot of representative games and, the, you know, the big Queensland-New South Wales clash was, was everything. Um, and then with the advent of Super Rugby and the expansion of Super Rugby, you just got to play, you know, a lot of football games uh, in all sorts of places and it probably dropped off a little bit. Uh, but listen, it means means a lot to me this game, and you know, hopefully that will rub off from the playing group. Do you approach it differently the game against the Australian teams? Obviously, with the Australian conference being there to win. Oh, it's, ma it's massive. You know, conference games are crucial, and um, it's something that we haven't done well. Like, let's not hide from the fact we haven't won uh, a lot of conference games in the last few years. Hence, us not being anywhere near finals calculations. So, I don't think anyone in the organisation hides from the fact we need to be better in these conference games. A lot of guys uh, playing club footy this weekend. Someone like Isaac Rodder, who's a fair chance for the Waratahs game. Mm. Will you go and see any? Club game uh, yourself this weekend? Yeah, I can't wait. Um, you know, I love I love club rugby. It was something that I, I uh, as you know, I, I grew up in. You know, I came out to Ballymore and all the club grounds as a young kid, watching dad play, and and then uh, continuing on with that once I started playing my, my own club rugby. It's an important part of the development of, of football players. They need to be playing football games. And, um, you know, Isaac Rod is a, a prime example of the, the uh, you know, the opportunity for him to get back and play club rugby this weekend is important because, you know, over the last month he's had a mixed bag, hasn't he? He missed a, missed a game through concussion. He uh, then hurt his ankle at, in the first half against the Jaguars, then missed another game with his uh, bump on his shoulder. So, so, you know, the opportunity to go back and play rugby and get that into him before the Waratahs game is really important. So will you go back to the nest particularly because it's uh, your old stamping ground? <laughs> yeah, no, look, listen, we'll mix, the, we'll mix the coaches up. We'll get around, see a few games. You know, there's other players like uh, Leroy Houston playing uh, that hasn't, hasn't had an opportunity to play uh, this year and I'm keen to see how he plays. So we'll, we'll sit down as coaching staff and, and cut the games up and share the love around. So who is it? Isaac, Leroy, who else is going back to club with? Oh, listen, there's 14 guys playing club this weekend. So, uh, you know, re 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 real mix of guys. You know, you've got your Nick Frisbees and, and Isaac Rodders that have been involved, and Andrew Reddys that have been involved in Super so far. But then it's also, you know, guys like Leroy who hasn't played Super yet. Um, uh, Campbell Magna returning from injury. Um, so there's some, you know, good opportunities for players to put their hand up and, and be selected. Campbell was one who really featured in the last couple of seasons and through injury hasn't had that chance yet. Are you, are you comfortable with Duncan and Samu or do you think Campbell's a chance to maybe push Duncan out and, and push uh, and get Samu in working with you? Uh, just after competition to be honest. I've got massive wraps on, on Campbell Magne. Um, you know we were very hopeful of him being right to play in the, in the Rebels trial at the start of the year and I think he would have really forced his way into the team in some position and so now to have 
uh, you know, the second half of the season, effectively, with him coming back in, is a really good thing to have. You know, uh, you've seen probably through, you know, the forward changes we've been making that there's been being able to keep players honest through selection and performance and we probably haven't had that as much in the back line just through injuries to Sortia and Magne. Um, so now with uh, both of those guys, you know, Campbell back this week and Sortia only a, another week or two away that, you know, that competition hopefully will hot up in the back line now. Did you, uh, watching the, the Rebels Brummies game, is that sort of an indication that the Australian Conference is, is really well and truly alive? Do you think mm. if you guys win this, it's, it's well and truly back oh, to win that conference. Yeah, listen, I don't want to talk about winning the conference yet. We know that's the reality of, of, of what how the competition is. Um, for us, the the challenge is to win back-to-back -back games. You know, we've only won two games. That's not good enough. Uh, we feel that we, you know, we're definitely getting improvement uh, with Quaid and Carmichael back in the in the side last weekend against the Kings. You just saw, you know, the physicality that that Kay brings, and then you see the the opportunities that that Quaid creates. So I think um, with those guys in the side, it's 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 a good time to be playing the Waratahs, um, and, and we just want to win back to back rather than even thinking about the conference. Kay's form is just getting better and better. Is he someone that you could see at the club next year? <laughs> Oh, Carmichael, uh, he's been he's been pretty upfront himself that he's loving rugby. He doesn't he's not interested in making any more transitional changes. Um, listen, the good thing about him is just letting his form do the talking at the moment. I like, uh, mate. Obviously, the week off here, we spent the, the few days uh, off from training. Uh, well, I haven't had any days off. I've been in here doing rehab for my shoulder, but just trying to get back ready for the weekend. I was going to say, it's a bit frustrating for you. It seems like you're so close to breaking through to consistent minutes, but you had a few niggling injuries. Has that been frustrating? Yeah, it's obviously been frustrating to have a few niggles and here and there, but I'm just look, really looking forward to getting back and just hopefully staying injury free. What did you guys get out of that, that King match? It was some pretty good football play there, but also some pretty bad football in the last 20. Yeah, what, what did you guys take from it in the review? Um, yeah, look, we obviously started really well and did what we wanted to do, but we had a bit of lapse in concentration and execution in the last 20 minutes. So we just said it's an, rugby is an 80 minute game, you know, we've got to stay focused for the whole 80 and give everything, not let other teams back into the game. Stiles, you've been, uh, has you got any uh, particular poise to play for 80 minutes at all? Any little uh, tricks of the trade? Oh, just to stay focused, stick to our game plan, be physical for the full 80. Obviously, we've had a few lapses in the last 20, but really we're just getting better each week and we just want to stay focused. It's the big one, really. Um, Isaac, um, what, what do you think the difference in your game is and comfort this year compared to a year ago? Playing under 20, uh, I just think I'm uh, more of a physical player this year. got the pre-season with Thorny and Styles. obviously. It was really good. Their drills and stuff really helped me develop as a player and showed me how to get more mentally tough and physical in the field. So, what sort of Brad on to you? Like, you can tell your stuff, but what, what, what really resonates with you to, to be more physical? Um, basically, just from the game, you can just. Obviously, he said, like a lot of things, if you watch how he played, he plays physical, but just key moments, like in the breakdown, you can either go in slower or you can go in faster. It just basically depends on how aggressive you are. You watch much, uh, like you get a lot of old players and you go, oh yeah, they back in the day. But did you, have you watched a few of Brad Thorne's highlights just to see how good he was or the, the little things he did very well? Yeah, definitely. I watched a lot of uh, footage on Brad Thorne when he was playing back in the day and uh, a few highlight packages just to see how he played the game. Yeah, and what was your impression when you, what, what sort of stood out for you when you watched it? Uh, his physicality and work rate around the field was the main one. Yeah, it's going to be unreal. I can't wait to get back and play for my mates down there. It's been been a while. It should be really good to get down there. Yeah, you know, there's like Charlie and Mitch Schneider who I played Colts with. You know, I'm really keen to get out there and play with them. They've been playing good footy lately.
Yeah, it's always been a tough game when we go over and play South at South. We've always had a really big battle there and there's a lot of, um, yeah, it's just really good. What styles you said about uh, playing New South Wales? Uh, well, we haven't really had any reviews on that as such yet. What does playing New South Wales mean to you? Oh, it means a lot to me, obviously. There's a lot of rivalry between Queensland and New South Wales, and I guess it's just a real grudge match in, in the game.